She was old and neglected, so we cut her to bear holes and built her up from the ground with our blood, sweat and tears. So follow our journey as we plan to sail her to new destinations and make lasting memories. Last week on Sailing Lady Africa, we made the night a Korshit for our new swim platform, turned a bush out of Eskenai and started with our vinyl headliner. What's cracking guys? Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode with us. I hope you guys enjoy our Cape Town trip and see what we got up to. It was an awesome trip, it was well worth it. And it was awesome meeting some of our subscribers, Mario, Dino, Moreno, our patron Simon. We managed to get hinges. We got all our Super 12, so it's all our synthetic rigging. Big thanks to them for helping us out with a good price. And we got to go check out our batteries that we're going to get, but that will be its own episode, so mm -hmm. we'll show you guys that. We'd also like to say thanks to Doug and Betsy for the coins that you guys have made for us from SV Seeker. So we got these cool cast coins, and it's part of this coin challenge that they've got going. So if you guys want to support our journey, get yourself one of these collectible coins. You can buy them as an individual or you can buy them as a set with other coins as well. If you guys would like to purchase our coins, you can go onto their website. I'll put a link down below and you guys can check it out. If you're South African, we have purchased a few coins um, that we will be reselling. So it will just be easier to post within South Africa. And if you're international, go check out their website. Thanks for, for watching and thanks for all the cool comments and, and supporting us with this journey. It means a lot to us. It's awesome sharing this journey along with you guys. It's a tough one, but it's nice to know we have like a backing behind us. Go yeah, back, back to work, to work. Alicia. Alicia. Back to work. And so our road trip started down to Cape Town. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> bye bye. Wait a minute. Not the safest thing to do in South Africa, but she was an old lady and she was alone. And we thought we'd give her a lift. And she was very happy she got a lift. She'd been waiting for a while. I think you kind of gotta, when your gut feeling says, kind of give a lift, and you give a lift. And I mean, it's only like, what, 30, 40 k's? So, yeah, we're on our road trip to Cape Town. Awesome view. It's very green, pretty. So, big thanks to Jake's allowing us to use his bucky to go down to and the bucky is a pickup he borrowed us his pickup to go down to Cape Town so a big thank you to you thank you very much because our car is still dead it's still pooped it's going to be good this weekend though when we get back it'll probably be done then we can teach Moses how to drive <laughs> Moses 101 the different sceneries you get to experience from PE to Cape Town is insane Our first stop was to get our synthetic rigging at Southern Ropes. So we got some chafe sleeves over here. And that's the one that we're gonna use. We're gonna go for the black. There's a slightly smaller chafe sleeve. Oh, there's a badass color that's one. That's really cool. Is that, the, is that the bigger dimension one over there? Yeah, but that's a different, this is a different construction of chafe cover again. This uh -huh. one is a construction of 50% polyester mm -hmm. and 50% Technora. Okay. And Technora's got a higher chafe and abrasive resistance compared to your HMP. The chafe jacket basically, using a normal Selma fit, just to open it up a bit, but it can expand more. So just opening that up and then I'm going to take the Super 12 line which this fits over quite nicely. So whichever length you require to fit it over and once you fit it over as far as you would like to, you will do some stitching and whipping. You are familiar yeah. with any stitching yeah. and whipping there. So that's basically how the chair jacket will work. Like these are like pop cuts, 
and we can just come and if, the, if these match out the length that we need we can get it and this is a fraction of the price also to anyone else that, that's looking for lines and that if you pop into their store at Southern Robes the off cut that they've got is, is much cheaper. It's a shame. So I picked up the Super 12 for a photo and I made a bird's nest out of it so Romano, I gave him double work now. <laughs> And that Saturday it was off to the boat show we went. We're at the Cape Town boat shop and we're checking out all the nice toys. Boy, were these cats gorgeous, but way out of our price range. Hey, we could dream, right? Very nice. Super, super nice setup. These cabins are lovely. I love all the windows. And we stole some ideas for what we could do with Lady Africa. Next stop was Vetus Marine to get our table leg and captain's chair. Thanks to Donovan and Kristen for accommodating us travelers. It was an awesome getaway weekend. kind of sizing it to roughly the size where it should be and then we'll do all the straightening out take it off again add the reinforced wood area that's going to come in here so right over there I'm going to put a wooden flat plank in where it will do all the attaching with the velcro and then we'll get the rest of the line in here's the one for the off cabin I'll just cut it to size and I'm going to cut it in half so it just makes more manageable shapes to work with and to install and whatnot So we're out here, super hot day. We're busy doing the fairing on the seat. And over there, that on, that on. So we got the epoxy down, we let it go hard. We did the initial cut like 24 hours afterwards. So it was still a little bit to take the high spots off. And now we're gonna hook it down. This was one of those straight edge fairing things. Knock down all the high spots, do the little touch up in there. And then we'll pull in again, get those lost off, and then we turn it into a green tank. So we'll put on epoxy primer. But that area is still to do, we're gonna do it today. 
together a little grind with a 100 grit on a, on a grinder. We'll do the fairing on it and then we'll smack that down again with a T and then finish off with the 150 on the orbital. I don't have too many fancy tools, but what I did is, you guys might know this, construction. Use one of these plastering trowels and that's what I applied it on with and it came out a pretty good job. So if you guys are somewhere remote and you can't get things, one of these, 50 Rand, $5, not even $5, current exchange rate, three bucks. And you can put your fairing compound down nice and straight. So, early morning, it's freaking summer, it's awesome, awesome. I think today is 30 degrees Celsius, very freaking baking, with a lovely like 80% humidity, so summer's here. Check it out, headliner. Obviously it's not perfect in place yet, but it's in, we still need to do a lot of adjustments. We've taken the dodger off, started fairing, putting the fairing compound on here. And we're gonna sand it off nice and smooth. So this thing is officially the worst job ever. <laughs> These things are hectic. So we've sanded that one down. That one takes another coat, um, like more like a skin coat I'd call it. So like a really thin, thin layer now just to fill up the little imperfections. We've pretty much got it all nice and level. And we've sanded it, under grit sandpaper on the orbital. And that's what we got. That still needs to be done, but that's freaking smooth, man. So another reason why I want to go with white decks, and I know a lot of people say, yeah, but Lee, but you know, glare really mostly affects you know, kind of when you're sailing, you want to see where pair of polarized shades. But this is one thing that you can't really go without. Let me show you. I can't even stand on this, and that's that's baby blue, right? That's 55 degrees Celsius. That is freaking hot. I'll show you, yeah, this 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 is the Dodger top that I moved. 37. I did a test panel on the light gray that I had up top here. That's 58. So that's even hotter than this blue that we currently got. So no ways, she's gonna be white. Like it or not, white she is. It'll cool down the temperature. I mean, we're talking 15 degrees. Between 10 to 15 degrees temperature difference. That's huge. As you can see, we've got a nice Thai green curry over there. This is the best Thai green you're gonna, you're gonna use. Sigma Prime 200 or PPG 200. It's kind of the epoxy primer two pack. I've already mixed it up. Got some in the drum here. And then I'm gonna prime all the areas that we've done. Moses is just busy finishing acetoning them. We're gonna prime it. So what we're doing now is we're applying the epoxy primer to our area that we did the fairing to. So this primer will anyways be sanded off. It's just to seal everything up, protect the glass, and give it a coat of epoxy. 
and also allow us to see if there's any left over or any imperfections left behind. Looking good. Probably the most satisfying part of the task is painting the outside. Super stoked getting this Thai green curry. I love a good Thai green curry, man. That's, that's what this stuff reminds me of. I'll let you guys decide what do you think about that fairing job. So there's this section, if you remember, we replaced that section. That's new NIDA coin there. There's the joint. I mean, other than the paint difference, that's like... <laughs> not too shabby, Notch. Look at that. Now I'm pretty chuffed. That's not bad for what? Second time ever doing fairing. Okay. And that puppy, we still gotta do... Gotta do it. There's all the gunshot wounds. green on it kind of highlights some of the spaces places that we still need to kind of work on idea is sand all of this again definitely paint it all with the with this primer and then go the final color do texture and then another coat over that All the extra deck fittings removed. Now I have half the amount of deck fittings for stainless steel stuff going on. We're happy about that. Here's where the new platform is going to go. We made the platform already. We just need to cut it and come and fit it. Ricky finished up the last layer of fairing needed. Stay tuned till next week where we carry on with our headliner, close up some more darn holes and cuddle up with some farm animals. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up because it helps us out a lot. Thanks to our awesome new patrons, Ansi Witt and Kevin Batchelor. Your support means a lot to us. If you'd like to join our amazing patron family and get a behind the scenes footage of what we're up to, a link is provided in the description below.